Hi guys, I'm Sean. This is Anelsa. Gus is upstairs. And this is Internet Rabbit Hole Daily. And I am back. Alyssa's not here today, but that's all right. She'll be back soon. Um, this next video is about the knee hang sings. Um, and so you folks have been talking about... Uh, the Nihang Warriors of India. We've certainly seen these warriors uh, both on the Scoop Whoop uh, Man on the Ground video. We've seen them, I think, in the uh, Char Salabad trailer. Um, we were interested in learning more. We filmed the reaction and then lost the footage. <laughs> so I'm going to check that out again with you guys today. So, so know that Alyssa has seen this, um, but I wanted to sort of, uh, you know, watch it with you guys, despite the fact that we have seen it already, um, because a lot of you seem to be really interested in, uh, you know, our perspective on on this particular group of soldiers. And so uh, Mr. Singh, actually, uh, one of our commenters said, Nihangs equals soldiers of God created by the 10th guru. These men follow the traditional lifestyle with a modern one by wearing traditional outfits and having swords, spears, armors, revolvers, pistols, etc. for their defense. Oh my goodness. And he says too that they're divided into 11 or 12 groups across the world. So I suspect that uh, this video was one of those uh, groups. He says these guys are also farmers who follow all orders of the guru. And uh, Nihang is a uh, Persian word meaning crocodile. And Persian was the state of the Sikh or was the state language of the Sikh empire. I did not know that. Okay. So uh, there is now this is this is mostly just sort of a. Um, just a very brief introduction to these uh, particular uh, soldiers. Um, and no doubt there's going to be a lot more that we have to check out to really get a sense of what they're all about. Um, but anyways, uh, I am totally down to, to watch this one with you guys. Let me uh, get it all loaded up here. So the Nihang Warriors of India. This one is by uh, Nowness, uh, which is the name of the channel here. So thank you folks uh, for putting this together. And it is very cinematic, very dramatic. Like I said, Alyssa and I did watch this before. We lost the footage. So I'm, I'm back here to, to share my experience with you guys. Beautiful horses. We figured they're probably getting exfoliated or something. Sort of that old meets new, you know, you got uh, this traditional regalia, but then you've got sort of the modern parking lot. You can hear the traffic in the background. They certainly do take uh, good care of those horses, that's for sure. So that would be maybe with that traditional, uh, it starts with a K, goes on the wrist. Deen Majbaka Judd Jokina Khanda Phadya Dukara Hai Shai Mai Maar Dur Kini Salotar Phadya Karara Hai Gagan Mandala Mai Bunga Hamara Mahakal Rakhavara Hai Sir Par Mokut Mokut Par Chakra in the Crown Ah all the traditional elements. Warriors in times of peace. Man. After a long and turbulent time, King Arthur, through fortune and force of arms, destroyed or made peace with his enemies inside his realm and out mm. and established in men's minds his right to rule to accomplish this the king had drawn to his person and his court the best knights 
and the hardiest fighting men in the world. So it's interesting because they're doing this kind of parallel between uh, King Arthur, which is kind of like a more Western sort of tale, and uh, mixing it up with these uh, Nihang Warriors of India to draw some parallels. So this is really cool. It's the white flag. Usually that's like what, surrender or peace or... Love the contrast, eh? Peace through war. King Arthur found the dilemma of all soldiers and tranquility. It is difficult, if not impossible, to keep the strength and temper of fighting men without fighting. Very interesting. Men, for nothing rusts so quickly as an unused sword or an idle soldier. Yeah, soldier in a time of peace, a very interesting idea. Like an ant pile there or something. Whoa! Don't don't trip. Oh, that's very dangerous. Holy mackerel. Arthur, knowing this took the way of all generals in all time. He set up games which imitated war to keep his knights hard and hard. Mm. By these deadly games, the fellowship of the round table sought to keep skill and courage high. So it looks like these warriors have their own sort of games, if you will, to keep them, uh, you know, ready to fight and keep them sharp. Uh, By venturing their lives in return for fame. Man, oh man. Wow. What do they call that, a mace? And while the older war bred knights kept their arms bright, perhaps in memory of real battle, the young men whose knighthood knew only the games of combat did not love them. Very interesting. It's like a number of maybe different weapons being used there. Arthur learned, as all leaders are astonished to learn, that peace, not war, is the destroyer of men. What an inter- that peace, not war, is the destroyer of men, because I think instinctively or intuitively, I think many of us would have felt that uh, the opposite would have been true. Um, and so this is maybe something that leaders across the ages have learned, uh, maybe the hard way in some cases. He watched in apprehension while the young knights, who should have filled the fighting ranks, dissipated their strength in mires of complaint, condemning mm. evil times without having created a new one. The young generation complaining? That doesn't sound too unusual. It's just they, you know, they grew up with different experiences. They hadn't, you know, been in actual combat from what I understand. It had been a simulation of that. And how does that affect a soldier or a warrior? Just really nicely uh, framed all these shots. Everything's so striking, especially with the black and white. It's like a, yeah, it's almost like a living photograph, if you will. I wish I could understand it, Arthur said. They complain that the times are against them. And so the times are, said Guinevere. Guru Singh. Ooh. 
by Canada and Early Man Films. So I'm assuming that's not the country that that's uh, maybe a production studio of some sort. Uh, directed by Eric Morales. Well, thank you so much, folks. This is uh, this was a great look into uh, this particular uh, brand of, uh, I guess, Sikh warrior. Oh, and then they mentioned Gatka there, which, as I understand it, is the uh, martial art that's related to these warriors. And um, I'm looking forward to seeing more videos where we actually get to see some of that maybe demonstrated even more. Very cool. Because as I understand, they do sort of have some kind of, uh, you know, battle games or war games, if you will, where they do all these amazing feats. Um, I've seen a couple of videos come up on YouTube, but I wanted to make sure that we sort of covered off on this one first before it get into that. Um, and so this, like I said, is is only the first video on the Nihang Warriors of India. We definitely intend on checking out more. And if you'd like to do that with us and be a part of that, well, then we're going to ask you to click that subscribe button, click the little bell icon, choose all from the drop down menu so you can get updated every time we upload a new video. If you like this video, leave that thumbs up button and don't forget to leave a comment down below. We love hearing from you guys. This is Internet Rabbit Hole Daily, IRH, signing off. Bye-bye, guys.